टुडे आई शुड स्टार्ट विद द सेकेंड चैप्टर ऑफ द क्लास फिफ्थ दैट इज अडेप्टेशन फर्स्टली वी विल गो थ्रू द मीनिंग ऑफ अडेप्टेशन इट मीन्स any change in the structure or function of a plant or an animal by which it becomes better suited to survive its habitat means and when any change in the structure means any physical structure or functioning of a plant or an animal happens such that it could become better suited to survive its habitat okay what is habitat habitat is something like i am staying at my home so that is my habitat so what is habitat natural home or environment of a plant animal or any organism based on their habitat plants are classified into two parts number 1 aquatic number 2 terrestrial then aquatic plants are further classified into three one floating fixed underwater plants and terrestrial plants are subdivided into five parts first one is plants that live on land second plants live in hilly regions plants live in windy regions plants live in deserts and plants live in marshy regions aquatic plants what are aquatic plants plants that live and grow in water and it is further classified into three parts first one is floating plants as it is clear from the word floating means it floats on the surface of water and move along with the water stream okay so for an example water hyacinth and duckweed okay next point is it is having spongy body with hollow spaces why hollow spaces such that it is tightly packed with air and it can breathe next point the leaves of them have stomata on the upper surface means why they are having stomata in the previous class you might have studied that leaves in the previous lecture we studied that stomata are tiny pores on the leaf surface such that it can breathe and usually it is on the beneath surface on the lower surface of the leaves on in this case it is on the upper surface of the leaves for the easy exchange of gases next sub classification of aquatic plants is fixed plants as it is very clear from the word fixed fixed means plants that float on the surface of water but it do not move with the water stream that is it do, does not move along with the surface of water right so its example is water lily lotus next characteristic of fixed plant is light and hollow stems that is the stems are uh, filled with air third point it is having a waxy surface the reason behind it is having a waxy surface is it can easily swipe away the water which is residing on the leaf surface hence it is having a waxy surface yes next sub classification of aquatic plant is underwater plants it is also known as submerged plants because these plants that totally grow completely under water for an example hydrilla the leaves are thin and narrow that is the leaves are very thin and very narrow very sleek in structure okay the next point is the roots of them are fixed to the muddy soil that is since it is totally submerged inside water hence it is tightly fixed to the muddy soil it is not having stomata and again basically leaves are having stomata so that they can breathe but in this case it is exceptional and underwater plants is having not stomata no stomata hence they breathe through their body surface next categorization of plants is terrestrial plants what are terrestrial plants plants that grow on land right previously we studied about plants that grow in water now plants that grow on land and such type of plants are known as terrestrial plants it is further classified into five parts first one is plants in plains that is plants that 
grow in plains. Firstly, we will go through the meaning of plains. What are plains? Plains are the large areas of flat land. Trees growing in plains have many branches. It is further classified into two parts, deciduous plants and evergreen plants. What are deciduous plants? Places with hot weather and very less rainfall. For an example, deciduous plants, it is having people tree. Next, evergreen plants. Places with hot weather and lots of lots adequate amount of rainfall. For an example, coconut tree. Next subclassification of terrestrial plants is plants grown in hilly regions. Hilly regions means with high hills, right? And on such kind of uh, hilly regions, the trees are very tall. Leaves in hilly regions are thick, waxy, needle shaped. Okay, so the leaves are very waxy, very slopy, right? Sloping branches and is conical in shape. Means the branches grown in hilly regions are very slopy, very slopy and is conical in shape. It is conical in shape and hence it is known as coniferous trees. These trees produce cones instead of flowers. It doesn't mean that it will not have seeds. Cones will carry seeds. For an example of plants grown in hilly regions, pine, fir, fir and spruce. Terrestrial plants is further classified into five parts, right? So, its third part is plants in windy regions. Windy region means where the wind is blowing at a very high speed. Such places are, uh, for its example, is grasslands. The trees in such windy regions are flat-topped or umbrella-shaped. It is not easily broken by strong winds. That is, the plants in windy regions are strong enough such that it cannot be easily broken by strong wind. Plants in deserts. It shows many structural adaptations. Means the structural changes are too much. There are so many changes in terms of structure in the plants growing in deserts. It is also known as xerophytes. The roots of plants grown in deserts are well developed. Most of them have thorns. Thorns means spikes, can't they? Okay. For an example of plants grown in deserts are cactus, aloe vera. Last subclassification of the terrestrial plants is plants in marshy regions. Marshy areas are those areas which is having soft and wet land. There is lots of water in the soil. The roots of plants that grow in marshy regions grow above the soil and absorb the gases from the air directly. That is why the roots of the plant only that is grown in marshy regions that grow above the soil, not under the soil, but above the soil. And hence, it absorbs the gases from the air directly, not from the soil. Hence, these roots are known as breathing roots. Example, mangrove forests. Mangrove forest. That's all for the chapter.